There we go. And remember the easiest non-spell ever? Well, it's back. There's hardly anything to do there. It's boring. Yes, it is. Xanadu and straight of straight and curve. This is actually an easier spell card than the Rand equivalent, uh, which was uh, I forgot the name. So there, the one which I failed miserably while saying that it's not, it wasn't as hard as everyone thought it was. I actually captured this on my first try. Be careful of the lasers, which you might have not even see, but they can sometimes surprise you. Now it's the return of the annoying non-spells. Uh, move as little as possible. That's... Unless you're willing to actually learn the thing, it's, it's all I can give you as advice. Yukari spiriting away. This is easier than Princess Tenko, mainly because it doesn't get as fast even though it looks more impressive. Da, da. Same general strategy applies, I'm just doing stuff differently for fun's sake. And now it should be over. Yes! And more evil non-spells. huge amount of bullet on the screen, but since hardly any are aimed in your direction, it's it's a waste mostly. Uh, butterfly in the Zen Temple, that's 90% exactly the same as Rand's spell card, just that uh, it uses different types of bullets, the butterfly bullets, and I didn't fail it stupidly this time, which is good. Maybe I will, since there's still another turning to go. Usually takes two rounds, unless you're really good at doing damage fast, which I almost did there. Bing! Done! Uh, now's our second to last non-spell. Yeah, I think that's it. Remember to move as little as possible. It's even more important here, because the slower moving bullets form lanes if you don't move. Like can see it. Double Death Butterfly. This is much easier than uh, unilateral contact, even though bullets go in two directions, there are just much less bullets around. Also, if you feel cheap, you can break your border at the last moment and it will basically render the attack completely inoffensive. Capture! Yes! Let um, final non-spell. Remember, it's streaming and changing direction. How many of these non-spell are actually streaming, really? Anyway, now it's over. Now she summons Ran to the rescue. This attack is much, much harder than the one where Ran summons Chen, because Ran moves faster, aims at you much, much better. And there's way more stuff on screen. I recommend staying low so that Rand can't really aim at you, aim at you at all. But at least not when she's going up, which is the actually dangerous part. Ah, uh, yes. Now the survival card: boundary of humans and your kind. Uh, this is almost the same as uh, Kokkuri San's con uh, contract. And I'm fine with that because I freaking adore that attack. It's just that at the end there's a few more butterfly bullets, but nothing really noticeable. It's still super amazingly awesome epic, which is the only thing I want from this spell card. It's just. I'm still. Freaking in love with it, this attack, really. <laughs> Idea is just awesome, and it's impressive, and it's just you just feel so cool for doing it. And the end is so scary, even though it's 
not all that hard, it's still very scary. So the difference between that and the and Rand's one is that now the bullets go by threes instead of by twos. Don't think it really makes any difference. Or maybe it does. Always remember that you have more space than you might think. And I'm safe. Alright, now it's the infamous boundary of life and death. It's much harder than uh, Rand's uh, Eastern Gongen because it has two or three extra waves at the end. Um, I've never actually managed to capture this outside uh, the cheap uh, safe spot method and I somehow clipped here, sort of annoyed. But that was expected to happen. And whenever you man actually manage to do the safe spot method, it just feels amazing. You just stand there in the middle of all this dumb Maku and know that you're invincible. Uh, here I just failed miserably, which is a bit of a shame. And there I actually managed to do a proper bomb. Yeah, it was the first bomb of that fight. Anyway, that this this attack is hard. I can't really do it. But it's not actually over. There's new spell card. Dan Maku Bounded Field. Uh, this is pure survival card and pure memorization. It's a bit stupid, really. Uh, it's 100% static. I haven't practiced it in a while, so I might fail. Uh, it's five waves like this which go in and out. The first two are stupidly easy. Uh, third and fourth are quite hard, and the fifth is very scary but not that easy. Anyway, for the third wave, uh, you want to wait in the middle while the stuff builds out. This builds up, and when it's done. You want to move at the bottom left like this. Full left and not too low. And you're usually safe. For the fourth wave, there is a safe spot somewhere on Yukari's sprite. I've never actually learned it, so I do it this my do this my own way. Like this basically. Sort of like the third, but a bit higher. Now the third wave fifth wave, first you can get it lots of greys if you want to always fun and don't be afraid and do this basically <laughs> nothing more to say yay ha, that was a good fight that was a good fight I failed miserably at uh, what's his name boundary of life and death but apart from that I'm I'm happy with what happened can't remember if I failed anything else actually at least not doing Yukari I did fail uh, ran spinning attack hard, but apart from that, nothing very important. Anyway, that was the end of Perfect Cherry Blossom. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. And uh, this was very fun for me. I'm glad to have played this game again. Uh, really an amazing game. Uh, don't have much to say. Since I don't have much to say, I'll just say goodbye and uh, see you in my next main Toho Let's Play. Look at that hand coming out of Yukari's border. It's yeah, disturbing. Uh, next time I might be playing Imperishable Night or I might be making a stop by uh, the fighting games. Not sure. Anyway, let's still go through the dialogue and then stop. I've got some form of score, and I've got some form of high score, and I've got some form of stats. A lot of slowdown that was to be expected. Uh, don't say replay. Not interesting in my replays. And there! Uh, thanks very much for watching, and bye!